Good morning. Today is the 1st of May. I'll be sharing the devotion from Jesus Calling along with some insights. Uh, today the two scriptures that go with this devotion are Luke 12, 25 and 26 and Luke 1, 79. Today it says, You are in the path of my choosing. There is no randomness about your life. Here and now comprise the coordinates of your daily life. Most people let their moments slip through their fingers, half-lived. They avoid the present by worrying about the future or longing for a better time and place. They forget that they are creatures who are subject to the limitations of time and space. They forget their creator who walks with them only in the present. Every moment is alive with my glorious presence to those whose hearts are intimately connected with mine. As you give yourself more and more to a life of constant communion with me, you will find that you simply have no time for worry. Thus, you are free to let my spirit direct your steps, enabling you to walk along the path of peace. I find it interesting that the path of peace is never idle, as far as I've found it to be. Whenever we live in the present, and we focus on the Savior and invite the presence of the Holy Ghost, we will not be inert. We will not be stagnant. We'll not be just like on pause, but we will be constantly moving forward and developing. Um, the pure love of Christ is charity. And as we walk with our Creator in the present, and our eyes of understanding are opened, and we seek to love, because that's what it's all about, loving God and loving our neighbors. As we seek to love, we will find opportunities to serve. And that's exactly what I thought of when it says, as you give yourself more and more to a life of constant communion with me, you will find that you simply have no time for worry. You really don't, because you will be so wrapped up in serving your neighbor. Um, who is your neighbor? Well, start in your household, your spouse, your children, your family, your parents, your roommates, and then move outwardly. That's, that's the Christ-like example, is to, to always think outwardly. You know, when Christ was crucified and he was on that cross, he didn't look up to heaven and say, Father, this hurts so much. Poor me. Because he was never looking inward. He was always looking outward. He said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Even in his dying moments, he looked outwardly and he served by forgiving or seeking forgiveness for those who persecuted him. And that's exactly what we have to do. We can't focus on things that we can't control. I tell you what you can control. You can control how you use your time. Do you use your time to the benefit of those around you? Or are you selfish with your time and only looking to gratify yourself? I challenge you to think outside of the box. Think outside of yourself. Find opportunities to serve. And as you become more and more wrapped up in serving your fellow man, you will be in the service of your God and you will walk along the path of peace. Have a blessed day, my friends.